This is my absolute favourite moisturiser in the whole entire world. Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Leela. Today I'm going to talk all about my skincare favourites. I'm super big on skincare. I decided to not wear any makeup for this video for the sake of talking about loving our skin. Yeah. I have not a lot, but like a decent amount of favorites that I don't use all of them at one time, but they're like the essentials that I need to have in case I want to use them or I need to use them. So let's just get started. I don't know what order to start with let's start with makeup remover makes sense so i have gone through a lot of different makeup removers when i was younger i would use makeup remover wipes and then i went through using like micellar water and then just using cleanser i ended up coming across this this was suggested by my friend bea and it's the i don't know how to pronounce it i think it's hamish like H H E I M I S H and this is the all clean balm and it's just a really really nice packaging like aside from the fact that it's a good product it's a really nice packaging very cute and it's one of the best balms I've used I've tried a couple and this one just does the best job for me my skin doesn't break out I'm very cautious of using like oils and balms because I have oily skin and sometimes trying a lot of different products can make me break out but this is my ultimate favorite so far and I wish I'd bought more than one because I bought this in Korea and I don't know where to get it so if you know where to get it let me know now I'm gonna talk about cleansers I have three cleansers to discuss the first one I'll start with is my top 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 favorite this brand is used to the people and I first came across this in New York I think I was shopping and I initially bought like a different product from the brand and then when I went to Australia a couple of trips ago I decided to try out it's super empty now but I decided to try out their cleanser this is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood face wash and I really like it because it's all natural, it's very light, makes your skin feel really clean, like even just with one cleanse. I like to double cleanse, but it's really, really great, very fresh, and you know you're putting good stuff into your skin, or onto your skin, which we always want. So I highly recommend this. I clearly love it. <laughs> and I'm going back to Australia in a couple weeks, so I'm definitely going to buy some more so that I don't run out. The next one that I love, unfortunately, is also like difficult to get in the Philippines, but this is the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser. This, I think, is a favorite for a lot of people. Um, again, very, very light. Doesn't feel chemically, is that a word? Chemically? It feels like your skin is clean and fresh. So I also really like this one. Another one, I've mentioned this before in a past video, this is the Skin Need Deep Cleanser Auto Foaming Skin Purifier. And this one, I mentioned before, has a lot of natural ingredients also. Majority of the stuff that I use, I like to have mostly natural ingredients if possible, just because it means you know that good quality ingredients are going onto your skin and you're going to get the best out of all the nutrients which is very important. So this one is really great and I have a code if you want 20% off. And the code is LOVELILA. I'll put all the proper details in the description below. So if you want to avail and get some skin need products. I used to not be a big fan of face masks just because I'm very simple with my skin, I'm generally like a cleanser, moisturizer kind of person. Sometimes I don't even use a toner. Um, 
because growing up like I just never had bad skin going through puberty I would have very minimal breakouts I remember when I was like 13 I was getting a lot like up here but after that phase I would rarely like have big problems with my skin I'd get like one here here and there I got one here like two days ago so it's kind of red now but never had a problem and then last year I was like going through a lot of health stuff and um, I gained weight and I was like not eating very healthily and not taking care of myself and having nutritious food and all that kind of stuff and I was diagnosed with PCOS which is uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome it's very common amongst women, a lot of people have it, and there's, I think there's a lot of different causes, but the main ones that I researched about were to do with lifestyle and like healthy eating, keeping active, that kind of thing, because when you don't do that and you have like an unhealthy lifestyle, your hormones tend to go out of whack and go out of balance. That's essentially what happened to me. My skin broke out really, really bad. I had acne all over my cheeks which I'd never had before and it really played on my self-esteem because I guess I hadn't experienced it before and I felt like I needed to wear makeup all the time and I'm not someone who likes to wear makeup all the time so long story short I'll talk about all that stuff in another video if you're interested to do with more like health weight like you know health from the inside out kind of stuff but yeah just touching on that to explain why I'm very simple with what I put on my face um, and also why I had to kind of like do a little bit more research on skincare in order to get to the products that I like now so after going through that and trying to figure out how to deal with the breakouts I tried a lot of different things I you know was trying to keep it simple and it wasn't quite enough at the time and um, so I obviously changed what I was eating. I started eating healthier. I drank so much water. I tried to be a little bit more active and that helped. Uh, and also just making sure that I really kept, kept, kept my skin clean. And one thing for me that I noticed did a lot was using masks. I had never really been into masks much, like I said, but during this phase I found that like having something soothing or that would kind of clarify my pores and you know putting it on either when I wake up or before I go to bed that was like a really good thing for me so the main ones I'm going to talk about is this one which I used in my wake good morning get ready with me video um, and this is the origins clear improvement charcoal mask super amazing I swear by this um, I've seen like a couple other people who really really love this product and I usually put this on like in the morning once I've washed my face before I do my makeup um, or if like you know I'm at the beach and my skin gets really clogged this is really really good so absolute favorite I usually leave it on for 10-15 minutes and that's already enough the other one that I love is Pixie Skin Treats Peel and Polish. I love this. I can't remember why I got this. And I'd never really heard of the brand, so I was kind of like, oh, okay, cool. And then eventually I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, like it's so good. I love it so much. This, when you put it on, like it's kind of, it has like exfoliant little like like exfoliation kind of thing happening so you put it on and I kind of rub it into my skin like an exfoliator and then I leave it on for how long does it say two minutes I leave it on for like five but um I mean try for two minutes because like follow the instructions on the bottle but five minutes for me didn't really do anything bad to my skin and Oh my gosh, it just makes such a difference. My skin, once I wash it off, is so much more vibrant, smoother, bright, just like, is amazing. So these are the two that I love for kind of refining my skin and brightening, brightening, is that the right word? Like giving a glow. Yeah. Anyway, they're really good. So I highly recommend these two masks. They did a lot in helping to clarify my skin, um, especially when my skin was recovering from 
having a lot of breakouts. I had a lot of scars like all over my face. So great. On to let's do since I'm coming from the breakout topic. Breakout remedies. So this one was suggested to me by Bea, who also suggested the balm. And this is COSRX Acne Pimple Master Batch. Yeah, these ones. I got these on Beauty Manila and I absolutely love that site. It's so good. And these are, I'm pretty sure, are like a cult favorite. Like a lot of people love this. And I'm telling you, it's because it's so good. Like, I, this one has, I think, different sizes. And they have another one, which is called, I forget what it's called, but this thing is black. And they're like a little bit thinner, better to wear, like if you're going to go out for the day. So it doesn't have, like, you don't have a big plastic thing on your face. They're all the same size. But these ones are really, really good. I also have the other ones, which I love too. And I usually will wash my face, do my skincare routine. If I have a pimple that's like particularly evident on my face, then I'll put it on and then I'll go to sleep. And usually when I wake up, it's flat and it's gone. These were a lifesaver when I was having a lot of breakouts. Um, I haven't been using them a lot recently because, you know, I don't want to waste them if I don't have like big, big pimples. But super great if you have you know, something coming up and you don't have enough time to remedy the breakout, like, in the slower method, then this is really, really good. The other product I swear by for, like, a quick remedy for breakouts is this. This is the... I don't know how to pronounce the brand. But this is another cult fave on the internet. It's Lotion P50V something. It's French, I'm assuming. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, I'll put the name below so you can properly look for it. Um, this was given to me by my wonderful Mama Reg because, again, back when my skin was really breaking out, um, she was also trying to help me figure out what to do, and this is one of the things she ordered for me. And I'm pretty sure she got it through, like, an Instagram shop, but, yeah, I'm sure there's, like, loads of ways to find it. And they have different ones. This is... The only one I've tried and oh my gosh, it's so good. At first it's kind of like you put it on and it smells like vinegar. So it's like, you know, like you're putting it on your skin and you feel kind of like, because, well me, I don't like the smell of vinegar, especially if I'm putting it on my face. But the smell kind of goes away after probably like a minute or two and oh my gosh, like I put it on at night wake up the next morning and my skin is clear like I'm not joking like it's so good it's a little bit harsh for lack of a better word strong so I recommend just trying a little bit first you literally don't need that much like I would put it on a cotton pad and just dab it you're supposed to dab it not like not wipe or rub so make sure you dab Put it just in the problem areas so for me that was my cheeks sometimes like my t-zone area just dab very lightly don't need a lot and what happened to me the first time i used it is my skin went red in those areas and i kind of freaked out and i was like what's happening but it was fine the redness went away the next day my skin was super clear and then after using it a couple more times my skin doesn't get red anymore and i just make sure to use like a proper amount and not too much and super great so if you can find this I highly recommend it it's great for you know when you just have like for me I usually get breakouts when it's my time of the month and I super hate it so this is something that really really helps plus the pimple patch you'll be fine on to what haven't I talked about scrubs scrubs I used to be such a scrub fiend. I had so many scrubs because growing up, uh, until now actually, I my problem wasn't breakouts, but my problem was blackheads. Like I don't, I don't really want to show you, but you can't really see in the camera. But like my nose, growing up, like that was what happened to me when I went through puberty. I got a lot of blackheads, and for me it was like growth like I just felt really bad about it because they were like these little black dots on my skin no matter how much I squeezed it they would come back and it was really really frustrating and I didn't know how to get rid of them I tried like those Bior Biore 
strips that you like pull out the blackheads, didn't like those, and um, you know, it was just like a big insecurity for a while, so I was obsessed with scrubs because that was the way for me to exfoliate my skin, kind of loosen the pores, get all of that gunk out, and as I've gotten older, it's like it's not so bad, my blackheads aren't nearly as bad as they were when I was a kid, or like teenager, so happy about that, but I don't use scrubs as often as I used to because I feel like it was also kind of over aggravating my skin which I used to do a lot when I was young and didn't really understand skincare now I keep it simple I have like my favorite scrub and I use it just when I feel like my skin needs a little bit of a polish especially if I go out of town and I come back and like I've either been eating badly or I've been at the beach and I've been like outside a lot and like a lot of stuff can get into the pores that's when I'll use it. So generally like no more than twice a week I'd say. So this is the Aesop. I used to say Aesop and I only recently found out it's Aesop. Yeah. This is the Purifying Facial Exfoliant Paste and it has fine quartz, rosemary leaf, lactic acid. Yeah that's it I think. And it's really cool because it's very natural. All of Aesop's products are really natural, very light on the skin. But they do the job, you feel very refreshed after, which is the common theme running along all the products I'm talking about. So I super love this because you can really feel the exfoli exfoliation. Because the granules, I don't know if that's the right word, like the quartz, um, they're kind of a little bit bigger, like it's not a super super fine exfoliator. So you can really like get in there and get in like these parts and is super great so I try to get this wherever I am that there is an Aesop store so yeah I don't know what category to put this in for skincare so I'm just randomly talking about it but this is another Origins product it's the Ginseng I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly either but this is the energy boosting treatment lotion mist and it is so refreshing like I've never really used much of like mist kind of stuff because I feel like it's not really doing much but this is so refreshing it smells really good it's like a citrusy mandarin kind of smell I usually put it on like as a like before I do my makeup kind of like a primer situation and so hydrating it makes the makeup go on so much nicer because I don't like putting makeup on like dry skin. I like it to be moisturized, but sometimes using moisturizer is too heavy or a primer. So I really like this. It's also good to just like spritz your face throughout the day or at night after you've washed your face. Very refreshing. Origins is so great. What do I oh, I forgot a mask. This is another mask that I really love. This is also used to the people, and it's the spirulina and microalgae, algae, 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 algae. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Kale, spinach, superfood face mask, and this is what it looks like. They have really, really nice, like, simple packaging. Uh, it's all glass, which is cool. And this, again, is very, very nice. It's like a refining, pore clearing kind of thing. That's most of the masks that I would get are like that. That's what I really, really like because, as I said, I tend to get clogged pores. And so this one's really good. I leave it on for about 10 minutes. Um, usually I'll put this one on at night because I like to kind of really clear out everything. Also good in the daytime. You can use it the same way that you would use the other two that I mentioned. So yeah, sorry I forgot about that. But there you go. What else? What else? Another use to the people product is... The Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Superfood Moisture Cream. This is my holy grail. I've never used that word and I hope I'm using it correctly. But this is my absolute favorite moisturizer in the whole entire world. It is so hydrating. It's a water-based moisturizer. Ugh, my hammer died and I was in a really passionate spiel about this moisturizer but anyway the energy has gone but it is amazing I so love it like so much it's so good because with me I have never been able to find a moisturizer that really works for me well because like I said I have oily skin 
and for the longest time I didn't understand the correlation between like oil-based moisturizer and oily skin so I would just use whatever moisturizer there was of oftentimes a drugstore moisturizer which nothing wrong with drugstore products but you just have to be aware of what your skin needs and so I would really like go ham on that didn't do well for my skin then I went through a phase where I didn't wear any moisturizer at all when I moved to the Philippines because of the hotter climate and it's more humid and my skin was breaking out and not using moisturizer was good for a while like my skin was fine it stopped breaking out and stuff and then I just didn't use it for ages because I was like okay I don't need it but then when I would go overseas I needed it again and I didn't have any and I just you know I really wanted to find one that really worked with me that I could use so that I wasn't randomly buying anything that I saw and so this was the product I found in New York when I first uh, saw this brand and I just randomly bought it truthfully because the product like the packaging was cute and it ended up being oh my gosh like so good for my skin I just yeah I've I've said enough about this but try it last but not least is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Nourishing Oil. Oh my gosh. Another thing. I was surprised because, I mean, I was just talking about oil-based products and how they're not good for my skin. So ironically now I am bringing up this. And the reason I'm surprised by this product is because I've tried a lot of like serums, oils that I that you put on usually before bed like after you've done everything and it's supposed to like hydrate your skin and do all that kind of stuff and I've tried a lot and they, all they do is like make me just produce more oil in my skin so when I wake up I'm like a grease bucket and that's not fun so I really stayed away from all that kind of thing I would use water-based serums if anything but I you know I didn't really feel much difference if I used them or if I didn't so I just kind of avoided it and then Laura sent me this, Laura, as if I'm close with her. The Laura team sent me some products. Actually, they sent me a lot of products and I'm gonna like do another video talking about them because it's one of those times where like you get a PR package and you just love everything, like genuinely love everything. So wait for that if you're a Laura Mercier fan. But anyway, so I really like this. I tried it the day that I got it, like the night that I got it, um, just because I was curious. I, I hadn't tried any oils in a while or serums, so I wanted to see how it would work, especially now that my skin is clearer. So I put this on, and I didn't use a lot, like probably like a tiny drop on my hand, and it spread so nicely. It felt so nice. Like the minute that I put it on, I was like, whoa. And I was kind of nervous that like after a couple, like an hour or so, my skin would be like really greasy. But when I woke up, my skin was like, like this, like there was, it wasn't very oily. It was like a really nice velvety texture and it was just like so supple and soft and amazing. So I'm a convert, but only to this one so far. I haven't been able to find any other ones that super work for me, but if you want to try this, I love it so much. It's also nice in the morning before putting makeup on. I would probably do that if I'm in like a colder climate, but hmm, so nice. So those are all of my skincare favorites. There wasn't too many, but those are my essentials, the ones that I will go back and buy again when I run out because I love them and they really help me. And I've finally found products that like don't mess with my skin because you know, I've, I've been through the whole like rigmarole of having bad skin and then having good skin and then bad skin and I just don't want to go there again. So I'm happy that I found what works for me. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions based on like what I've shown you, if there's ones that you like that you think I might want to try, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was excited because I love talking all about skincare. So yes, that is everything I have to say. Last thing is drink a lot of water. That is the number one skin care. I know it's said a lot and it's a very boring tip, but drink water. Please drink water. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.